Hi everyone, just a quick recording here on how to code the injectors on the pump truck with a common and easy job. So first of all we want to go into Easytronic here, the Bosch Diagnostic System. Okay, so now we're in the Easytronic software, and because we have no car selected, there will be even selected uh, this diagnostic with bank here, so we need to select the vehicle first, okay? And that's done up here on the top right with the please identify the vehicle. Okay, so we have to click that. Now, if you're lucky, the car may have been selected uh, in the last uh, 30 vehicles here. And that's, we can see there the Fiat Punto has been selected, but I'll just show you by the way, just in case uh, Fiat Punto isn't in here. It's Fiat. Yeah, Fiat. Um, and the model would be Grand Punto. Grand Punto. And um, let's see now, type of fuel would be diesel. And the vehicle type would be Grand Punto 1.3 Multi Jet. And then we can pick out from the list down here. So I think they're all pretty similar. Our one is probably the 66 kilowatt version. So we'll try that one. We're going to go for a diagnostic. Okay, and once we've gone to diagnostic, it's going to do a full scan of the vehicle. Uh, it will probably take on ABS, electric power steering, engine management, all the different systems that are in the vehicle. Okay, and that can take some time. If you like, you can cancel that. So we'll cancel that and we'll go to repair here. Once we repair, then we can pick out engine manager or ABS, but it's the engine manager that we're interested in, okay? So, system search. And now we have the engine management system here. So we can directly select here again. Right. Now, what we want to do is an adjustment or a setting. Continue, double click. All right, so it gives us some information here that this is. Um, a step that we take after replacing an injector. Now proceed carefully when inject uh, when entering the codes. We don't want to put the wrong code because the uh, flow from the injector will be incorrect. Um, approval of the injectors uh, by the manufacturer must be ensured. So uh, basically, it's good quality injectors. Uh, make sure the IMA codes are correctly assigned to the component injectors. So basically, don't put in the code into the wrong cylinder, which can happen quite easily for some cars. And non-compliance with uh, these requirements may lead to changes in the emissions characteristics and damage to the components. So just have to be careful because if the flow rate is wrong, the car could be uh, put out excessive emissions or possibly burn a hole in the piston crow. Continue. Follow the instructions here. Uh, switch the ignition off. Good. Proceed. Maybe cut with 30 seconds and then switch the ignition on again. Proceed again. So these are the current codes for the injectors. Now this is um, this is in demo mode now, that's why it's all come up in B, but our current codes should match the physical codes on the top of the injectors. So let's say for instance if I want to code uh, injector in cylinder number two if I'm after replacing it. I'll read the code off the top of my new injector and I'll set it here and let's just say so switch the ignition off. Proceed. Wait 30 seconds, switch the ignition on. Proceed. And the injector codes have been saved. That's it.